Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of OptionSource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Hi there and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 25th, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Let's take a quick look at a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. While the dollar index finished last week on a positive note, lending further credibility to a long-anticipated upward retracement, the 76.77 focal zone remains a strong support on the weekly chart, with 78.79 continuing to fulfill the role of resistance. Failure to rally off of 77 opens the window for another leg lower, targeting 74. Taking a quick look at a daily snapshot of the U.S. dollar index, we can see here that 78 remains our short-term upside target. Next up, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the U.S. dollar has been trying to regain ground against the Canadian dollar with a bounce off of 100. The CDD now consolidates in what appears to be a bull flag. While 102.103 still represents a short-term resistance level, a break above 103 opens the window for another leg higher. Well, the YUK continues to consolidate at 81 as the U.S. dollar attempts to find some support against the yen. A break above 81.5 opens the window for a push towards 83. However, failure to hold the support level brings 78.79 into the picture as our next downside target. While the EUI spent most of the week consolidating within the 71.5-72 focal zone, a short-term bottom for the U.S. against the euro could lead to a test of 74. However, a break below 71 will have us targeting as low as 69 to the downside. Let's take a look at the U.S. versus the pound as seen here in the ISE FX options pair value BPX. While the U.S. dollar gained some ground against the pound last week, we will be watching for some consolidation above this 63 level to lend credibility to a possible push towards 65. Well, the U.S. dollar is attempting to find support above the 100-101 focal zone after spending close to two months in a free fall against the Australian dollar. While we may be seeing signs of a, rever of a reversal pattern, the 102-103 focal zone remains an important resistance level for the AUX. A break beyond 102.5 lends uh, credibility to a move towards 105. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index tested 78 but has yet to commit to a continuation higher. A break above 78 opens the window for a bigger picture upward retracement. The CDD now consolidates between 102 and 103, forming a possible bull flag. A break above 103 opens the window for another leg higher. The YUK continues to test 80.5, 81 for support. A retracement should target 82, 83. However, failure to hold support opens the window for a continuation down into our 78, 79 level. The EUI is showing some signs of a reversal pattern. A break above 72 opens the window for an upside retracement targeting 74. The BPX pushes towards 64. Support at 63, 63 and a half lends credibility to a bigger picture move to the upside. The AUX is showing some signs of a bigger picture reversal as well. A break above 103 should signal a continuation higher. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 25th, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an OptionSource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.